Imagine this, inner city Cleveland kid, growing up, a lot of hopes and dreams, go to a major university, and things don't go as planned at first. On the verge of potentially getting kicked out of school until three years down the road. Finally having an opportunity, not just to prove it to himself, but the whole country. What an amazing story. On the biggest stage, on the biggest night, on the biggest year of college football the college football playoffs. Just a month ago, he was a third string quarterback, and now he's a national champion. Football was easy, but going home at night was hard. Looking back over my childhood and really reflecting who I am today, I think is a huge uh, testament of my environment, which is the Glenville community. A community that's tight-knit, community that's rough. When I think about a family raising kids, home life was never easy. Single mom, siblings, I'm the youngest of six. And at times, you know, the resources was spread so thin that, you know, it usually wasn't enough to go around. I can remember walking from home up to the football field and, and flip-flops, and the whole front end of my flip-flops were cut out or, you know, going home and, and wearing a shirt three, four, five times in a row by flipping it inside out, turning it backwards. And I was just so accustomed to that, you know, I didn't have some of the essential needs that, you know, one might need to just survive on a day-to-day -day basis. I got to meet Cardell at an Ohio State fantasy camp. So it was one of our pro camps we do where kids come in. Cardell said he was a care source kid. And I said, tell me more about that. And he talked about growing up in inner city Cleveland and how CareSource was really a lifeline for him and his family. Thank God we had CareSource because it seemed like it made it a lot simpler. I think the support outside of just health insurance that CareSource is providing for people in communities like the communities I grew up in is critical. Yes, so <laughs> you made the wall of excellence. Yeah, how about your boy? <laughs> right when I really fell in love with football, I went through so many different changes in life when it came to uh, living situations, and I'm thankful for the people around me to, to see that, you know, I was one of many kids who struggled with essential needs. I would see him, and he would have the same smile that he got now. Never would let you know the pain that he was going through. Who is Coach Gay? That's a great question. A man of many talents, uh, football coach, track coach, mentor, leader, uh, activist. But uh, to me, he's uh, more than all of that because of the life lessons that he installed, not just in me, but the hundreds and thousands of young men that he's impacted over the last 40, 50 years of his life. The family tree is broken. You know, nobody sit at the table with the kids. We was raised by a table. At that table was your grandmother, your mother, your father, somebody that was giving you direction. That's over with. You know, we don't have enough tables set in the communities. That's why we have to set tables all over the world. When you think about this community and communities like this, I think they can benefit from all the help they can get. And we're not just talking about health insurance. From my first experience with the care source, they hit the nail on the head. You know, our goal isn't to just provide government assistance is to help you get off of it. It's about the whole person, and that's why we invest so heavily in all those social determinants of health and the support network. Just like Cardell, it's about an ecosystem around you. And for our members, and especially as I think about kids in our program across the country, having that support mechanism around them is what gets them ready, gives them what they need for the next step in their life. I think it's all about preparation. Our coaching staff did a great job of making sure not just myself, but everybody stay ready for those moments and making sure once you have the opportunity to execute in those moments, that moment isn't too big for you. Hopefully one day people will be able to look back to that defining moment, to that moment where they was in dire need for resources and to point out care source and other individuals in their life that helped them get through that point. And looking back and say, oh, you know what? This is where it all changed for me. CareSource had that impact on a lot of people.